Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life. You can see, got the Toro Time Cutter out. It's a beautiful spring day. The grass is really starting to come up. I think that lifting exercise I did with the Time Cutter, you'll see it's pretty muddy. That's from the last time I used it. I was just lifting the grass up off the ground. Uh, I think it really helped it out this spring. So I'll put a link to that video up above. But even though it's dirty, it's ready to use here today. I've already this spring changed the oil. We had a video about doing the springtime maintenance on the Toro Time Cutter. So if you haven't done your springtime maintenance yet, go ahead and check that video out. I think it's a good kind of reminder of things to do to get your mowing machine ready for springtime. Behind me, you can see the flowering pear trees are doing great. This is my favorite time of year with those flowering pears. I like the nice white blossoms you see on it, and it looks nice along the sides of our driveway coming in. So I do have hearing protection on today. I'm trying again these Isotunes Pro 2.0. I'll give them a try as I mow, and I'm gonna mow probably in the middle speed on the smart speed control system on the Toro Time Cutter, and I'm gonna set the height at four inches. Now, some of this will not be cut at four inches, but quite a bit of it will. You can see we've got some taller pieces within here. You never wanna cut more than one third the height of the grass. So I'm using almost as high as it'll go. This mower goes as high as four and a half inches. I'm setting it at four. We'll cut the tops off of those. And then in several days, if it needs mowed again, we can do that. This is the most green this lawn has ever looked at this point in the spring. The current date is uh, the middle of April. Just so for April 18th, this is the best the lawn has looked. And I'll give total credit to the Lawn Cube. If you haven't watched yet, we've partnered with Lawn Cube this summer. They're sending us monthly treatments for our lawn. It's a subscription-based program. So I'll put a link down in the description to how you can find out more about Lawn Cube. And then we do have a couple videos of doing the soil test and preparing the Lawn Cube system. So let's get on this Toro Time Cutter. If you haven't watched the videos from last year, this has the 60 inch fabricated deck. This has the 24 and a half commercial Toro V-Twin engine on it. Great machine. We've done quite a few videos on this, including the five quick tips learning to drive a zero turn mower. That's one of the more popular videos on our channel. So if you're just new to zero turn mowing, I suggest you check out all our videos about the Toro Time Cutter. Great machine. I do like to vary my striping pattern. I don't know how much stripe we'll make today, first cut, and we're cutting pretty high. But I'm gonna start on the left-hand side of the lawn here. We'll go up and back today to see how that works out. the Toro time cutter is doing a great job there was some of this that was pretty high and it knocked it right down the grass is looking nice and green I really give credit to the lawn cube program for that so far it's looking great well I've done just a little bit here just to the edges of the flowering pear trees now I'm gonna do the center section of the lawn it won't take long on that Toro time cutter doing a great job you can see this section of the yard looks really good it's getting pretty dark not because it's that time of day but because I think there's a storm coming in and some rain so I'm gonna hustle up and get the rest of this done you can see the yards pretty wet you'll see the time cutter wheels are getting more and more muddy as we go and as I go further to the right of the yard it'll only get more wet so we'll get a good chance this spring to see how the time cutter does in some soggy yard conditions by the way these Isotunes Pro 2.0 letting me listen to some tunes keeping the noise down. I'm liking them so far. I like that I can wear a hat with them. I really like those 3M work tunes, but this allows me to wear a hat. This 
where the grass really starts to get wet, so we'll see how we do here. In that last row that I did, I started to spin both rear wheels. So we'll see, it might get a little bit sketchy here as we get into the more muddy section of the yard. This is where that Titan Max with a little bit more aggressive tires would probably be an advantage in the kind of wet springtime conditions we're in right here. Just got a notification on my watch that it's going to start raining in about five minutes i just have a little bit left to do towards that pine tree so i'm going to do that really quick get the mower in before it starts raining if you like videos like this make sure you give us a thumbs up we'd really appreciate it clicking that like button really helps us out if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and click subscribe and we'll see you again the next time it is raining out made it in just in time i really went fast on those last couple rows and you can see we were already dirty or even more dirty now but the time cutter did a great job first mow of 2021 first springtime mow on this pro time cutter and just continue to be impressed by the performance the cut quality and the quality of this particular machine